Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down with Astronomy. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It is Monday and that means let's have a look at what's been going on in Elite on the channel and what's going to come in the near future. Now, of course, the main headline news that's been coming out this week was Frontier, who did a, I would call it a showcase of some of the things. There was really an announcement, and most of the stuff we saw, we pretty much knew already. Um, but there was some new information, like some, like concrete information about prices and arcs and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go too into, too, into too much detail <laughs> with exactly how it works and the prices and all that stuff, because I already did a video, and you can go and you can look at that up here if you are interested in that. But what I do want to just quickly talk about is my general opinion about it. Um, now, of course, there have been some people complaining that, well, who's going to wait like month and month and month to get, um, let's say you want a ship kit. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get through the normal like free arc you get for playing. And, and I don't know, I never really expected that we'd be able to just get all the stuff we wanted just by playing the game. Um, I mean, we have to remember that is pretty much the main income source for Elite at the moment. That is people buying cosmetics through microtra microtransactions. So the fact that Frontier is actually giving some of it away, I mean, to be honest, I mean, if you look at it, with the way it is now, you would have to pay for it. Now you have the option to buy, at least pay for some of it through gameplay. So, I mean, the way I see it, they're giving us something for free, which, well, I'm never complaining about. <laughs> um, you could argue, yeah, sure. Why? I mean, why is why is the the limit on 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 four hundred arcs per week? That it's a little low. That's a fair point in that. But overall, I think it's gonna. I think it's. I think it's okay. I mean, the prices on arcs, if you compare to what it was on Frontier Points over on console, it seems to have been a slight increase. I think, um, depending on which packs pack you buy with uh, with arcs. But but overall, this is. Pretty much what I expect that the price is not going to change dramatically, um, like from real life currency to what you would actually have to pay for for items, and that you wouldn't be able to just go out and buy yourself a new paint job every single week, um, because that would pretty much just mean they were going to make next to no money on uh, on the game anymore. Um, of course, they still want people to well, you can hand over four bucks and you can get your paint job, or you could sit and play the game like six seven hours for a week. Um, that's up to you. So overall, it's pretty much where I expected it to be, and well, again, as I said, as I see it, well, they're giving us stuff for free, so I don't uh, really see a reason to uh, a reason to complain. Um, one of the other things they also did mention, um, the slush I've mentioned with a small side note, is they are changing the super cruise assist, so it can now control your throttle. Um, they said that one of the things that people, especially new players, was really finding difficult with the Super Cruiser Assist module was the fact that you had to point in the right direction and then get your throttle into the blue area before it would um, before it would engage. So to make this a lot easier, um, they're now allowing the Super Cruiser Assist module to take control over your throttle, meaning that you now just have to point in the direction you want to go towards the object you are going to Super Cruise at, and then the Super Cruise module will take care of the rest. This is, of course, because the Super Cruise module is, at least in Frontier's mind, mainly um, intended to be a module for newer players. Now, it, I, I still have one on my my bubble bus just because it's very convenient to have and there was a spare slot for it, so why not? Um, I personally think that it's it's fair, okay. Um, it It's a little bit more convenient now, um, but it was a small change they added that they didn't really um, spend that much time elaborating on, but I think it's a nice change overall. Um, I should say that a patch is coming out on um, on Wednesday, and uh, that means I'm going to move my live streaming spot from Tuesday to Wednesday. Um, the same time, 7 o'clock in game, um, and it's only this week. So next week we're back to live streaming on Tuesdays, but this week I'm going to move it one day forward. So instead of live streaming Tuesday, I'm going to live stream on Wednesday, where the patch, of course, is going to come out. And during the live streams, there will be giveaways. I have gotten a few... Um, exclusive uh, paint job that you can get for some of your ships and these are paint jobs that cannot be bought not even with arcs 
Um, these are only given away doing special events like this. So uh, if you want your hand on some very, very exclusive paint jobs that none of your friends have, you should tune by the live stream on Wednesday. Um, again, as I said, at uh, at eight o'clock, uh, sorry, seven o'clock in game time. I'll probably be running over the new play experience, try to see if we can break it because that's what I like to do. Try to see if people put something new in the game, like how far can we push this? Um, I mean. I have a few ideas for things I want to see, like how does it handle locking out in the middle of a of a of a, of a like middle of a mission? How far does it roll you back? And what happens if can you get interdicted? Is there some places where you're actually flying out and open? Well, what happens if you get interdicted doing that? Things like that, stuff I want to uh, to try and see uh, see how the game handles. Um, a little <laughs> quality assurance there for for Frontier, but. It's all going to come on Wednesday, um, and of course we're also going to look at the new Arc system, new interface, really like that, new livery system you can use from the, the main menu, looks really good. Um, yeah, but that's all going to happen on Wednesday, giveaways um, and, and all that stuff, so, so tune in for that. Um, also, last Saturday, I launched a video going over the mathematics behind shields, and I just want to mention this because this has actually been a project that has been a long time in the works. I've been working on on trying to reverse engineer the mathematics behind shields for like the last couple of weeks. And this has been a lot of banging my head against the wall, looking at a spreadsheet. Um, it has taken a lot of time to do. It's been one of the bigger projects that I've been, I've been undertaking lately. But now that it's done, I can actually begin to put it into some practical use. As also mentioned in the video, um, I'm going to write a program that's going to utilize this to try and find the optimal shield in various uh, situations. Um, again, I don't know if we're going to find any brain, uh, like, uh, groundbreaking new uh, discoveries, but um, we'll have to wait and see um, once the program is finished. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to tune in on Wednesday during the live stream. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in space.